This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. We are here on the case of Lockhart versus Rogers. You all have been together two and a half years. You are engaged, and there is a 14-year age difference. Go, go, Miss Lockhart. <laughs> Tell me why you have brought your fiance here. Um, I brought him here today because I need to know if he's been cheating with younger women. And uh, as you said, there's a 14-year age difference, and it's you can't got... can't tell. You look great. Thank you. All Thank right. you. <laughs> but tell me what you think is going on. I, I think he's been talking to other women. Yeah, and... Honor, that, that's not true. Really? I don't... I, I, I got interested in her because she's an older female. The younger females, they have nothing really to offer me. That's why I don't try to talk to them. Are you cheating? No, I'm not cheating. We're here basically because she's a female and she's just, you know, naturally insecure. And when the results come back and after... Mr. After Kelly, you you're gonna let him tell, you say all that. women are insecure? Well... Are you gonna let him say that? Why? Well, are, are you feeling insecure about that? No, I <laughs> want you to get him straight. It's that's that's, that's, that's my mean, point. He ain't saying nothing right. about it. This is not about insecurities. Women have intuition. Yes, we do. So, Miss Lockhart, you tell me what your gut is telling you. My gut is telling me that he's cheating. So, if you find out today that he's cheating, then what? Uh, our family is in shambles right now. Um, our marriage is on hold. Uh, I'm not gonna marry somebody that, that's consistently cheating on me. I need him to be consistently faithful. Amen. If he fails the tests, it's over. It's, it's, it's gonna be hard because my kids are attached to him and we have our daughter, but... I mean, I can't continue to go through so that. So, literally, but... your family is on the line depending on today's outcome. It is. All right. So, Mr. Rogers, are you out there looking? I mean, I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm out there looking. I'm very sociable. I have a Facebook and I got a lot of followers. And, you know, after you get a certain amount, they start paying you. So, really, I'm trying to be sociable for money, but she doesn't look at it like that because I'm not making the money yet. He's so got over 4,000 go. followers and 99.9% .9 of them are women. Okay, so it's strictly platonic with these other women. Yeah, just to build just... my followers up. Okay, but here's the deal. Studies show that 10% of affairs start with online, you know, social media, Facebook, that's all those how we kinds met. of things. Well, that's how the world works. I mean, everybody's online now. That's how... She the... doesn't want to be part of those statistics. That's why she's eyeballing this 99% yeah. women. She's like, mm, mm And you said that's how you all met? Yes. Um... So, she's talking about <laughs> what she know, not what she heard. Okay, you were flirting with her on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we, we started talking. I... Mr. Rogers, were you in search of a cougar? <laughs> <laughs> What? I wouldn't say I was in search of a cougar. I mean, I do prefer older females just because I don't think, like, younger females can really do what I need them to do for me. Okay, okay so... Okay, what yeah. is that? Like, what does that look like? You know, I'm not... I don't, like, cook or clean much. I like, you know, a female... You know, I think it's more of a female job. Okay. Uh, so, so, women... So, it's a woman's job to cook and clean? Yeah. You old school. And be insecure. And it, be insecure, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit past old school. I've been calling it chauvinistic and a little sexist. I didn't know he was like that until, like, a few months down the road. So, you but, fell in love with him in spite of this, this behavior. Yeah, what I was mean, it that you fell in love up. with? What did you I'm, fall in love with? Oh, the fact that he had patience. He has, he has patience. And he's really a good man. He works. I mean, he's a good father. Was he romantic at all? Uh, yeah. Like, our first date, we went to a seafood restaurant. Oh. And, um, I don't like that seafood. Was... <laughs> you don't like seafood? No, he no. didn't. So, that's one reason why... Why'd you go to a seafood restaurant? Because that's my favorite food. Yeah, she likes Aww. seafood. Aww. All right, so yeah. what do you love about her? Just, like, everything. Her personality just pulled me in. Her... She has a beautiful aura. Just, you know, looking at her, just like, you know, I'm getting chills. <laughs> well, it yeah. sounds like they were, they were perfect for each other. <laughs> Why in the world are we here today? Why do you think he's cheating? He has dating sites I found through Wait, his email. Do you have dating sites? Yeah. Oh. Okay. You know, when we was together, I was 23, and it was like a 14-year age difference. You know, I didn't have any kids. She, she, we have five. She has four, plus my one makes five. 
So I okay. Was, but but you specifically wanted an older woman, right? You said yeah. younger women didn't have anything to offer you. Yeah, I, yeah, I and did. So, yeah, all right. this is so, what I wanted. But now this is a little more than just insecurity. This yeah. is you're giving, you're on dating sites. Yeah. You have a dating, what does your dating profile say? What does it say? Yeah. I don't, I don't recall what it says. It, it he actually admits to being in a relationship and looking for nothing serious. You wrong and you really wrong. Yeah, yeah. How would you feel if she had a dating site? Oh, she can't. She can have one? No, she can't. She can, cannot okay. have one. Okay, I'm oh. also not supposed to have any male friends either. Uh, she can't have Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's it? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to try to keep Judge Cutler from coming off this bench down there, because that's not... I want to make sure that you understand that this stays here. This does not come home. I can't home bring with... that home. None of that comes home with you. None He's of that. Mr. Rogers, he may have some good points. No, he like... doesn't. He doesn't have any good points. No, no. Not, not a one. I what don't... other reasons do you believe that Mr. Rogers is cheating? Okay, well, on one occasion, he was supposed to be taking his cousin to the hospital, and he didn't come back until about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, at that time, like, it got repetitive, the staying out late, the, the not answering the phone. So I didn't feel like arguing with him at that, at that particular day. So I just left out. I was getting in my car. And there's cigarette butts, and I have proof of that as well. There's cigarette butts with lipstick on them in the ashtray. And I also found empty con uh, condom box on the passenger side. Ron, would you please get that for us, please? Thank you, ma'am. And then uh, right. I also... Well, hold on. Let no, us... Hold on. Let us, let us okay. look at this. Let's look at the cigarette butts first. So you found these cigarette butts. Yes, and I, I, don't, wear, I don't wear lipstick. Really. Do you smoke? Uh, I do, and those are not my brand. There's a reasonable explanation for all that. Oh, all right. okay. Let's, bring let's it. Bring okay. it. Yeah, like, like I said, you know, it's not just me and her. It's me, her, and the kids. They're not cheap. So I had to basically take on a side job. So sometimes I find people that need drives and they... F so you're driving people around to make money? Yeah, and they feel okay. more comfortable sitting up front with me because some of the people I do actually know and they, you know, smoke cigarettes. I smoke in my car, I'm not going to be like, hey, I'm smoking, don't smoke in my car, even though you see me smoking. That's a lot of cigarette butts in the ashtray. I, I mean, how long were you driving? Did you drive this person to Timbuktu? They got like seven cigarettes here. He was going until They're... one or two o'clock that morning. They was chain smokers. They made about fifty dollars that night. <sighs> yeah, it's an explanation. It's not reasonable. <laughs> okay, what about the condom box? Why was that there? That wasn't even my size, to be honest with you. I don't know where she got those. As he said, he doesn't <laughs> like to spend too much money. So I guess you can just... Those are cheaper. Some things you can't be cheap with, and that's one of you them. You said the condom wasn't your size. Yeah, that's not my size. I can't wear those, sorry. So if it doesn't fit, we must acquit. Yeah. Is it? Why are they in his pocket? So you have no explanation how those condoms got in your jeans. I mean, she likes to play detective. Some detectives plant evidence. Okay, Mr. Rogers, the neighborhood you're in doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Rogers, in addition to this love suit, you've also brought a lawsuit oh, yeah. against Ms. Lockhart. Is that correct? Yeah, that's true. Uh, what, is it, what is your claim? Uh, she broke my glasses. What happened? How did she break your glasses? I got uh, pictures and evidence right here, the uh, receipts and all that. Okay, Ron, would you hand those oh. to us, please? It was, uh, like I said, I was working with a family member. I was coming home late from work one day. And then, uh, basically, the time I got inside the house, she was trying to, like, argue with us. I really wasn't trying to listen to that, so, I, you know, I took my glasses off, put them down, and I was about to uh, lay down and go to sleep. Next thing I know, I just hear, like, you know, her throwing glasses down in the crack. And I, I look down and see her saying, oh, now you won't be able to see no other females. It was accidental, <laughs> but when it happened, I did say that. Okay. okay. How did you accidentally break his glasses? Well, I wear glasses, too, and I didn't see exactly where they hit the floor at. So it was kind of camouflage. And like I said, it was an accident, no, but I did no. mean that comment. I think she did it. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> right. You know, you, you can't destroy other people's property. You can't stomp <gasps> on people's glasses. And so, Mr. Rogers, 
You submitted a receipt for the amount of $151.39. Is that correct? Yeah, if possible, the, I would see if I could get maybe an extra, uh, maybe $200 for pain and suffering. You know, I wouldn't push my luck if I were you, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I, was just, I was just asking. Yeah, All no. Right. So, That's a no. You know, be because you damaged his property, and it appears that if it was at least not intentional, it was pretty close to intentional, mm. uh, we're going to rule in Mr. Rogers' favor on his counterclaim mm. uh, and award him the amount of $151.39 for the lawsuit. Now right. we got to get back to the love Let's suit. Let's get back to this love suit. Mr. Rogers, because Ms. Lockhart had questions about your social media activity and your online activity, uh, you were ordered to submit your tablet to the court for examination. Is that correct? Yes, correct. All right. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Gregory Evans into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Mr. Evans. Yes. How are you, Mr. Evans? Mr. Fine, and yourself? Good. All right, good to see you. All right, now, Mr. Rogers submitted his tablet for examination. Is that correct? You're correct, Your Honor. So what, if anything, did you uncover on Mr. Rogers' tablet? I found this message. In red is Mr. Rogers, and yellow is a young lady. I'm gonna be in Atlanta. Oh, what's going on in Atlanta? Nothing, really wish you could come. Don't you have a girlfriend? I wouldn't bring you no drama. Are you cheating? I wasn't trying to do nothing with her. I was just, you know, just making some friendly talk. Ms. Lockhart, that look on your face means you're not really buying that. Oh, no, let's see some more. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you find, Mr. Evans? According to our report, in the last two days, we found messages sent, received to and from 10 different women from a dating app he has been communicating with. Oh, well, look at that. We've even found one message he sent to a woman on a dating site two days ago from today. In that message, it said, hey, what's up? Like your pic, really caught my eye. I was just looking for a friend, maybe. More. She responds with, hi. So, when you say you're looking for maybe more, what maybe more yeah. are you looking for, Mr. Rogers? Uh, a good associate. A good associate, <laughs> someone to cook and clean and, and no, not do all the womanly stuff? No, that's not, I, I have... Womanly yeah. stuff? No, I, I don't know for that. how much longer. Miss Lockhart, can you tell me, and more importantly, tell him how you're feeling? I'm tired of it. I'm tired tell of you lying. This is your time. And it's not funny. And you, you seem to think this is funny, and it's not. Do you see how hurt she is? Yeah, I see. Grow up. I, I, I wasn't trying to hurt her. But you came to court and said you weren't doing anything. If you keep looking, eventually you're going to find somebody. And then what you're going to do? I would never take it that far. She doesn't know that. Miss Lockhart, do you believe that he has not been sexually involved with someone? My gut's telling me yes. All right. Well, in addition to our cybersecurity analysis, this court has also ordered a lie detector test for Mr. Rogers. And we have those results. Ron, I have those results. Thank you. Mr. Rogers, there was one question asked of you. Since August 2016, did you have sexual intercourse with anyone else other than Miss Lockhart? You said no. The polygraph determined that you were being truthful. Are you happy to hear that answer? Yeah. Does it I get am. rid of I... all your concerns no. about Mr. No. No. That on that screen, that has to stop. So, Ms. Lockhart, am I hearing that you want to proceed on with your relationship? We got a lot of work to do. All right. If Mr. Rogers... That's what we're gonna do. 
Yeah, I, like I said, I, it was just conversation. I was stupid for doing it, you know? I don't want her to feel like that or have to cry. You know, that's why I'm apologizing. Like I said, I never took it any further than that. All it was was conversation. Just cause. Okay. You say you want an older woman. You want to be a grown man. This is it. This is what it looks like. Moreover, this court is ordering you to take down every date app, date site, all dating profile effective within 24 hours of today. Yeah. So it must be gone. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. Am I clear? Yes, Your Honor. You need to make, not make her jealous. You need to make other women jealous of how you treat her. That right. should be what you are trying to do. Can you do that? Yeah, that's no problem. It will pay off in a big way. You all are engaged, have been in your relationship for six years. You have two children together. But allegations of cheating have put your wedding on ice. Ms. Taylor, tell me why you're here. We've been together six years, have two kids. Um, he's my everything, Your Honor. And I just want the truth. I'm, I just need the truth. I'm always being honest with you. Always being honest. All right, you Ms. Caldwell, you're here. Why are you here? I'm here to prove I'm not cheating. All right. So all of this is just in her head? In her head. In her head. <laughs> She's just making it up? I'm making it up. And you haven't done anything? I've probably done a few things to probably... Oh, wait a minute! No, 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 no. I've, I've probably done a few things to make her think that. Staying out late, you know, hanging out with the guys, the fellas, a little bit over the time. And that's about it, you know. Some women, they always think that men are doing something out there. Right. So... No, don't write me. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's the only thing you've done is hang out with the fellas a little late. That's it. Mm-hmm. You know, when it smells bad, it probably is bad, Mr. Cutler. Mm. <laughs> you smell it? <laughs> I, what I want to know is why you believe he's cheating right now. For a starter, a uh, dating app or whatever. And I went through his phone. I have his code. I went through his phone and I saw women that he was talking to. And he, and he slick do it. It goes, um, he's, you know, you can put in your zip code. Yeah. So he does it near his job. And oh. mm -hmm, so when he's at work. Okay, I mean, and... Ask, ask for your location. I mean, what you expect me to do? Why are you in a dating app when you have a fiancé? Uh, you know, I, I work, you know, long hours, and when I come home from work, I want to be, you know, some attention. Some attention. She's sitting on the couch, looking at her phone, you know, FaceTiming with her friends. I'm paying me no attention. You're not at home. You at work. Same reason. She don't give me no attention. She won't call me, check on me, or anything. So, Miss Taylor, you submitted your recollections of those conversations from the dating app. Is that correct? Correct, Your Honor. All right. So, right here, you saw where Mr. Uh, Caldwell said, hey, how you doing? And that oh, was doing the... So, on the second one, he says, hey, can I take you out to lunch? Oh. Okay, <laughs> did you ask a woman about taking her out to lunch? It's just a response. Women like to go to lunch. So I thought it would be a quick response. <laughs> okay. It's just a quick response. Anything... Attention. And so, she said, yes, what were you going to do? I would just probably not talk to her no more. I'll move on to the next woman just to get attention, just to, you know, this woman will be So you mean to and tell me you didn't took smart. the time to find a woman and ask her to lunch, and then she says yes, and you go to the next one? That's what you want to tell <laughs> yeah, the court? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yes, yes, Sean. That makes sense. Well, the yeah. third message, you say, good morning, beautiful. Oh, and it Read was it roses. For women. It was roses, little kisses, hearts, and stuff, too, so. Uh -huh. At work, and this ain't got nothing to do with hanging out with the boys. No. So, this is why she thinks you cheating right here. I understand. That's why I said a little stuff that I do <laughs> might make her think that, but... Have you ever met up with any of these women? No, Your Honor. You have not had any interaction with them besides these messages. That's no, what yeah. you're telling this court. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I don't think he understands. Like, he don't get it that you out of order. He act like I'm tripping, making up something, you know. And so I do go to him. I, I, I understand. I am, Mr. Cullen, help him I, understand I, why I, I this am... is wrong from a man's perspective. Talk to this man. It's wrong on so many levels. First of all, you're out there looking when you have somebody, but then you're involved with somebody else's feelings. They don't know that you're in a relationship. You're stringing them along, and so now you've brought an innocent party in to your gamesmanship because you're just like, well, 
She's not paying me the attention. I just want to throw it out there, see what happens, and then when I get a hook, I'm going to just let it go. It's wrong on a lot of levels. Ms. Taylor, what other evidence do you have? I don't think he knew that, you know, you can do where's my iPhone and I can track you. So... <laughs> So, um... Man, she's got all the tricks. No girl. doubt. She's going to his phone. She's tracking him. Yes, Your Honor, and I actually have evidence okay. of it. If Could I you cross over you. to the monitor, please? Yes, thank you. Evidence. All right. So, basically, like I said, I was just at home, chilling, been gone, been gone for a minute. Uh, I track him. It's like five... I see it. It's like five... Probably five to seven minutes from my home. So, I get in my car and I go there. <laughs> so, of course you did. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, his car is inside. It's in a driveway. So, I just pulled by the driveway. There's a car. And I took a picture so that he couldn't deny it. All that right. That he was there. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just sitting there. And he must have... He finally probably noticed me or something. And a girl... The door opened. And a woman walked, hops out of his car. Uh, yeah, but... But what? A woman jumps out the car. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then he take off. First off, the girl talking crazy. I did not it's take nothing off. to do. I, I just... Hold on, Mr. Carl. You took he... off. You took off. I followed him for probably like five, ten minutes, and he just, you know, eluded me. So I went home, and that was the end of it. I never said anything else. Okay. You didn't say anything when he came home. I mean, I... what was it to say? You're... He's driving off on me. What was? What? What do you say to that? I mean, so I you saw just... you with a girl. Out your car. Because she knew I wasn't doing anything. Okay, yeah. you, if you'll step back for the party. Mr. Caldwell. What does that look like? It does look bad. It, it does really? Look bad. You think it does? It, it, it did look bad, you know. Is this a woman you've been intimate with that was in the car? No, no, Your Honor. No. Who is this woman to you? Just a friend. A friend I just met around the neighborhood, you know. Uh huh. You, have you ever introduced her to your fiance? Uh, mm. no. She's, did she's... she know you had a fiance? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so she no, knew... did she know before she showed up? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. He's real hesitant right. about yeah. that. He's like, oh, wait a I... Why you run away? I didn't run. I didn't... Why do you drive away? I, I, I drove away just to, to, for the respect for her, you know, just to, to get home, <laughs> to, to get home, to get home and explain to her. What's, what's she, was she was there. Why did you have to go home and explain to her when she was already there? <laughs> so we've got him on a dating app. We've got him with women in his car. Have you ever found anything that makes you think he's cheating? Sure. Okay. So, um, he has a man cave. So, one particular day, I'm just sitting there and something out the corner of my eye I catch is a bag, like a big bag of condoms. Ooh. Okay. You, okay. You are... And you submitted a photo of that to the court. Is that correct? Yes. So, you found this large bag of condoms. <laughs> you all don't use condoms? No. Okay, you know, uh, we had our first child, uh, and then we had our second child, and we said we just want to, you know, calm things down, practice safe sex, prevent having more kids. So, I said, hey, let's buy some. Okay. So, that's what I went for. All right. I do have evidence. But your fiancé yeah. says that you all don't use them anymore. And I bought them off her, her account. Okay. Okay. Ron, would you grab that for us, please? Yes, and what does this show? It shows the receipt from the, uh, the purchase. This receipt only shows that you purchased them. It doesn't say that you weren't planning to use them with somebody else. Thank this you. just shows that you purchased them, which you don't deny. So, who were you planning to use these condoms with? That's the question. It was with her, Your Honor. I've never... No. First off, I wouldn't even use that because they're generic looking as hell. So, no. <laughs> no. You wouldn't have put that on it. No. I think we have enough evidence. What we got? He was found to have a dating app on his phone, and he's using that dating app to contact women from work while he's at work. Ms. Taylor has tracked him down using the GPS built into their phones, pulls up. He realizes she's sitting there. I would have loved to be a fly on the wall. <laughs> and he says, uh, yeah, that's my fiance. She jumps out the car. And then she gonna come over and talk trash, and he speeds off. Now, what I don't understand, and I gotta give her some credit, is that when he got home, she didn't say nothing. Because, you know, we've had folks in our courtroom that he... It would have been on and... On and popping. On and popping. On and popping. And then it the final thing is a giant bag of condoms 
She says we don't use condoms, don't need condoms, and if she was using them, she wouldn't be using the generic <laughs> stuff he had in the bag. And for all of these reasons, Ms. Taylor believes that Mr. Caldwell is cheating. And if she finds out that he's cheating, she says she's done. She's gonna break off the engagement. Over. She is through with the relationship. No wedding. Over. Over. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to hear from licensed private investigator Eric Eccles to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom. Mr. Eccles. Good day, Mr. Eccles. How are you doing, Your Honor? I'm good. Good to good. see you. Mr. Eccles, could you please tell us what you and your team did to investigate this case? Yes, Your Honor. First, we used a license place tracker and tracked Mr. Caldwell's vehicle for a period of 90 days, identifying various times and locations. Did you find anything interesting while you were tracking him? Yes. There was one particular day where we tracked Mr. Caldwell's vehicle to an apartment complex where his vehicle was parked for 52 minutes. We then identified the apartment and found out that a woman lived there. Oh. We found out that the woman was the plaintiff. Okay. What did your team do to further investigate? I then did what's called mobile covert surveillance, where over the past week, I tracked Mr. Caldwell's vehicle. I tracked the subject getting out of a vehicle. He had passengers in the vehicle with him, and I got them coming out of a store. Did you see anything suspicious? He was actually in the car with two male passengers, and nothing suspicious was going on. Well, to continue our complete investigation of this matter, we had a polygraph examination conducted of the defendant, Mr. Caldwell. Ron, would you please escort in Mr. Kendall Schull, licensed polygraph examiner and investigator? Yes, Sean. <laughs> Mr. Shaw, good day. Good day. Good to oh, see you. Honor. Good to see you, Your Honor. You look nervous, Mr. Caldwell. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? <laughs> a little bit yeah, more. <laughs> you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Caldwell. Is that correct? I did, Your Honor. Mr. Caldwell was asked, have you ever had physical sexual contact with anyone from the dating app in the last six years since you've been in a relationship with Ms. Taylor? What was his response? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor, but he did make an admission. Mr. Caldwell did admit to talking to and discussing getting together with another woman, but he never did. He also admitted that he had sent sexual messages to other women. All right. So, Mr. Caldwell, who were you trying to get with? I wasn't trying to get with anybody. It was just uh, the conversation throughout the, the site, just uh, getting interested into the conversation. But I cut it off at certain points of the conversation. Have you tried to make or set up a date or plans with other women? That's a yes or no question. Uh, no, Your Honor. So, so why are you admitting to wait. him? You got something else to say. Right. What is it? Yeah. It, it was just, no, it was just uh, allegations on making plans. Right. Yeah, I'd like to get with you. I'd like to be with you. We should hook up, that kind of thing. It did get at least that far, right? Yes, yeah, just talking. Okay, you might not have picked out a specific date in no. place, no. but no. you at least got that far where you're talking about, yeah, this should happen. Yes. You know, once you start thinking it, it's not Thank very you. far to push you to doing it. You do understand that. I understand, Your Honor, but uh -huh. I, I have very uh, good control. Miss so. <laughs> Taylor, as you did hear he this... Just, did he just tell me he has control? Did he just say that out loud to me? He did. I'm, okay, we He's got just... control of the whole situation. All right, just, let's, let's go on. Mr. Shaw, Mr. Caldwell was asked, during your six-year relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your fiance, Erica with... Taylor? Okay. What was his response to that question? I'll, I'll kill you. His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being.
The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Wow. Okay, Charles. After he answered this question, he did want to explain. Uh, he has had sex with one woman just about two weeks uh, after meeting Miss Taylor, but that oh. she knows about that woman. Okay. Uh, however, this does not rule out the possibility that he may have had sex with other women that Miss Taylor is unaware of. Mr. Caldwell, you've got a six-year relationship with this woman on the line. If you've got any hope of saving this relationship, now is your chance to come clean. And be honest. No, I'm not playing with you. I've only been with who she knows about. We know about that one. That... We're talking about the other instances. Because, Charles, you... You lied, okay? Now, go ahead and say what you did. I mean, for real. Have you been with other women? That's a yes or no question. Yes, that's right. All right. All right. What happened? The fellas is we having drinks and partying. So, you know, we just... So, you were out with the boys, woman, and you, you stepped out of your relationship? Yes, Your Honor. And that's the only time? Yes, Your Honor. I don't believe that either. And I, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I love you. And, um... I, it'll never happen again. <laughs> Ms. Taylor, you came here for answers. They are not the answers you probably wanted to hear. I want to know, what is it that you're thinking right now that you want to do? I don't know, Your Honor. I'm just hurt. I'm, I'm, um, in shock. Like, I'm I, sorry. It's just not what I'd want to. That's not what I was expecting. I just, you don't. Ugh. You all have been together for eight years. You had one child together. You recently married the man of your dreams, knowing he was a player from back in the day. So tell us how you met and how you thought you tamed the beast. We were working overnight, and I was going to school at the same time. Ooh. And he was actually helping me with my studies, and I was like, okay, all right, you know, I usually don't date younger men, but, you know, he kind of sparked my interest. If you picking my IQ, you picking my interest. So that's what he was doing. So I was like, okay, I'll give you a little taste. Oh. Oh, my <laughs> no. I thought she was gonna say a little time. She made that laugh real quick on uh, me. Yeah. Okay. And so he said, yeah, yeah I will. Man, you know, yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, you know. I'm out here doing this, that, and the third. And I'm like, uh, uh, back up, because I don't play all that. So he's like, oh, well, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real good to you. And then on down the road, we got five, six, uh, I can't count them all. Whoa. All the, all the, the play in the windows. and accusations, yes, ma'am. All right, uh -huh. all right. Now, you said you're a little older. You, you, you're just only a few years older than him. Mm -hmm. Just a few. But I'm, you know, a little older and a little wiser. But that was a play in him, right? Yes. Okay, but you thought you tamed this beast. I ain't never thought I tamed him. I just thought I was gonna give him another chance. Oh. This is his last. This, <laughs> is, you, a, this, this is, is last, last chance, time. Your Honor. But wait a minute, hold on. Let, let me get some clarity. Mm -hmm. You said he told you when you can start dating, hey, I'm kind of out there, and you're like, I don't do that. Yeah. But you still married him, so I'm thinking when you married him, you thought, okay, you gonna be right. I know, right? Then I make the fool of myself. Oh. I don't know, Mr. Moore, Why? did she make a fool of herself? No, she didn't. I've, I've changed my ways since we got married and for her and technology and her insecurities and what happened maybe when I was a player is still playing a role right now in our marriage. So, Mr. Boy, you are saying your past technology and her insecurities have you in this court today yes. being accused of cheating. Yes. And you're saying that's not true and I'm here to prove myself innocent. Yes. innocent. All right. If you find out he's cheating, what are you gonna do? There's his bags. Here's my divorce papers. Where's the ink pen? Oh. Mm. So, that makes it pretty clear. I mean, got his bags oh, no. back. Okay. Hmm. So, Mr. Moore, you understand yes. what's at stake today? Is I that do. really your suitcase? That's our suitcase. Oh, he can pick my clothes, too. Our I'm sure suitcase. he got somebody that can wear them. So, you understand what's at stake today? Yeah. You know what she means. And... And you know she means business. And I say, what would you do if your wife has ripped up one of your marriage licenses? 
I would say that's a real yeah. sign because I, she I thinks you're cheating, and that's what we're here to determine. Yeah. Are you uh-huh. cheating? No. And you say you're not. No. That's what he always no, say. No, sir. That's the same. He got right. the same story every time. I ain't doing nothing. But you was messing around with somebody for over a year and a half, but you wasn't oh. doing nothing then. Okay. What? So we've gone from engaging your mind mm-hmm. to cheating allegations. Why do you think he's cheating? Because of the GPS. Okay, you GPS GPS his phone? Yes. Okay, why did you GPS his phone? Because that's what we agreed to when we got back together. He's like, you can do this, 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 and this to show that I'm not cheating anymore. So to prove to you that uh, he wasn't cheating, you GPS his phone? Yes. And so you checked the GPS? Yes. But something made you be suspicious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was at work and I had got home off a break and I called him. And the phone, he wasn't picking up the phone. And I'm like... And, what, why you ain't picking up? Yeah, and you sub- on, hold on, hold on. You submitted an exhibit regarding this GPS. Oh, yes. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, so that's your house at the top uh-huh. of the exhibit, right? Yes. And he told you he was going to a family member's house, right? Yes. And so this is the route you would take to the family member's house? Yes. That's where you thought he was? Yes. But then you GPSed him? Yes. And then what did you find? He was next door. And so, so where we see that red flash, that's the GPS pinging at the neighbor's house. Yes. Okay, so he's at the, his family member's neighbor's house. So what? A person he say he don't know, don't have nothing to do with. Oh, what, what you doing over there? What the problem is? He don't know. Can I, so okay, you, so can is, I, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. So is this neighbor a, a woman? Is I mean, it's like a it could be women that live there. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Has he ever been involved with these women? I wouldn't know. I mean, I can't check everything. Okay, but you just know it's two women <laughs> I that don't know. check so much. You know, you can't tell everybody that he messed with, so, you know, I just gotta go with my gut. And you think he may be involved with them? Yes. Because I was gonna say, I mean, they could have gone next door to watch football. It was a, it was a fella's house, so that's why I was getting clear. Yeah, you, well, what uh, would be wrong with going uh, next door to the neighbor's house? It could have been Mr. Moore and his family member going to a neighbor's house. It could have been five or six people there. I understand that. But what her concern is, her concern is he's next door instead of at the family members with these two women. Now, I, I, I don't make the news, I just report it. So that's so, so in it. Mr. Moore, were you at the lady's house next door? No, I was at the family member's house. Well, how do you explain it pinging at the house next door? It wasn't pinging at the house next door. It was really pinging. I screamed three ho- for three, Hold on, but three houses down, to be exact. Were you at? Were you three doors down from no, your family? No, I was at the family member's house. My family member's house the whole entire time. Do you know Visiting. who lives three doors down? No. no. I had the phone charging in the vehicle. That's why I wasn't able to pick up the phone. But I looked and knew that she took lunch around eight o'clock. So I called her back at like eight fifteen. You didn't call me to eight. So were you were you in the car? No, I was inside. So how, how are you charging your phone in the car uh-huh. if the car is not on? You're not in it the car. It doesn't have uh-huh. to be on to be charging. The only way the lighter works is if the car is out. No, it works without. Uh-huh. Not all the time. That's not true. My truck is the same way. But why wouldn't and you like take it in? Th- why wouldn't you take the phone in the house with you where everybody has a charger? You may not have one of your own, but everyone has a charger. I mean, come out. You can't go somewhere. They were using. They, they were using their chargers. All right, okay. everybody. All right. Like, you said that's not it. Tell me what else you got. He'll be sitting up there talking to his friend Cavante on the telephone. And when yeah. we first got back together, he would talk to Cavante right there in front of me. Now, all of a sudden, because Cavante is relaying messages, oh, I don't have good reception in here, babe. I got to go outside. I'm like, you ain't got good reception in here no more? You just had good reception when you was on the phone with your mama, but now you're on the phone with him, you ain't got good reception. Okay, now, come on. So I'm going to let you have that one. you going to let me have that one? I'm going to let you have that Thank one. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, so... You make it sound like this was a change. Like, he used to be able to talk to Kevante in front of you, and now, all of a sudden, he's got to leave when he, he talks to Because he back to the same old ways that got him is put that, out the first time. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And not only that, it sounds like you're saying, correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like you're saying the only person he seems to have this reception problem with is his best friend, no. Kevante. Yes, That's yes. What, no, yes. not true. So what do you think Kevante, not he true. and Kevante are talking about? Not true. His co-worker that he was messing around with up there for, him, for a year and a half. Not yes. true. Yes. So, so you think Kevante is helping set up yes. meetings? Yes. And, oh, so it's like, 
The bird is landed. Go yes. to the nest. Yes. The bird is landed. Go yes. to the nest. Exactly. There you go. We need to know why you got to run outside and talk to Cavante. She knows that our signal is bad. And if you have someone in the background talking mm -hmm. while you're talking, I leave the room because when I speak, she's sitting in the background talking as well while I'm trying to hold a conversation. I can't believe that that's You can't believe that. Know, right? uh, what? No, I'm being funny. Miss Moore? Miss Moore is trying to talk over you? Let's take, let's take this a step further. Okay, mm -hmm. you got to go outside and you got to talk to Gavante because the signal's bad. While you're outside, is he relaying messages to you about uh, other women? No, sir. Is he running interference for you in any way so you no. can be with other women? No, Your Honor. No, sir. Oh, now, you sure? I was outside while Positive. he was on the phone. I heard him say repeatedly, yes, she told me. Yes, she told me. I said, so who was she? Oh, you didn't hear me say that. All right. Well, Mr. Cavante submitted a statement to the court, mm -hmm. and we would like to bring that up so we can share it and put it in the court record. It says, Dear Judge Keith and Dana Cutler... That's us. That's us. <laughs> I would like to go on record to say that I am not helping J. Rick Moore cheat. I have witnessed him change as a man. And I know for a fact that he is not cheating on his wife. I also have never been the middleman between him and any woman. He is a changed man. Thank you. Statement from Cabate Finch. That's your buddy? Yeah, that's my yes. yeah, co-worker. Co-worker. Yeah. How long y'all been friends? Since about, he working at your Hold on, hold on. Uh, he I, can answer. He answer? Thank you. <laughs> about four years. About four years? My keen judge sense is telling me you don't believe that. No. And not at all. No, no, can no, I no, speak? No. Hold talking on. to me. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. So I had to pick him up from work one day. So, because our other vehicle mm -hmm. was down. Well, I'm sitting in the truck and this car pulls up and she our windows are tinted. So the person in the car is just staring. And I'm like, can I help you? And she said, oh, no. What does it have to do with me? Exactly and what okay, I want to Okay, so why do cars. you think that this is evidence that supports Mr. Morris cheating? Because of how the woman's behavior was. The woman's behavior <laughs> just by staring at me. First, she was just staring at the car, but when I got out, she wasn't expecting me to get out because everybody at that job knows what his vehicle looks like. So what did you do then? I waited till he got out. Excuse me, And I asked Donna, him whose I... car it was. Oh, I'm gonna he get told you... me whose it was. I said, oh, okay. Well, let me write this note real quick. Okay, yes, tell Donna. me exactly what the note said. I'm gonna tell you, y'all. Okay, all right. I told the lady in the... You know, I told her, I said, so I guess this is your car. He told me this is your car. So I'm the wife. So let me let you know. I already know about the other chick he was messing around with for a year and a half. So I guess you the new flavor of the month. So, just to let you know, you know, if y'all have anything going on, there's no hard feelings. I gave him the year that I told him I was gonna give him, and you welcome, more than welcome to have him. Okay, oh. wait a minute. You park, lady parks next to you. Mm -hmm. She's looking at you, and the next thing is, you leave her a note saying you the flavor of the month? Yeah. You made that leap? When I say to you that this woman was staring me down, I'm talking about aggressively staring me down. And I'm like... Hey, because I'm on the phone, and I'm like, can I help you? Do I know you? And she's like, oh, no. I, okay, I... Mr. Moore, after your wife left the note on the mm -hmm. car, what happened? Uh, my supervisor came, called me in the office, of course, and pretty much banned her from the property and also said that... Banned she... your wife from the property? Yes, Ooh. until the situation was handled and told me she left the note on the wrong woman's vehicle and yeah, jeopardize my job, yes. So, it sounds like to me, love, while we don't have hard evidence, we got enough circumstantial evidence to go to the next level. And so what we got is, she believes he's back to his old ways. And for these reasons, Miss Moore believes that Mr. Moore is cheating. Hmm. She has packed his bag, so it's not a question of where this is mm -hmm. headed if she finds out he is cheating. Yeah. And... This whole marriage is on the line. For all these reasons, the court will call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to determine, is he cheating? Ron, please show me Sisko in. <laughs> Ms. Sisko, how are you this afternoon? I am well, Your Honor. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? 
Yes, Your Honor. I am a former military interrogator. I am um, certified by the Department of Defense. And shortly after 9-11, I deployed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where I interrogated members of Al Qaeda and Taliban. And since that time, I have been training government agency personnel, military personnel, and law enforcement in interrogation and interviewing techniques. Okay. All right. Ms. Cisco, would you tell us what you did in this case? Yes, Your Honor. So I had the accused write a witness statement, and I went through it and analyzed that statement for any indicators of truthfulness or deception. And with that, I also studied their case file. I put together an interrogation plan, and I interrogated Mr. Moore to see if he was cheating on his wife. Based on your interrogation, do you believe Mr. Moore is cheating on Mrs. Moore? So although he said no, he did have this smile on his face. And so we call that duper's delight. And sometimes that smile can indicate I'm getting away with something. So I asked Mr. Moore, why are you smiling when you answered this? And he said, because you're smiling. So it could be that he was mirroring my facial expression of emotion. Aside from that, however, I do not believe that he has cheated on his wife since January 2018. <laughs> however, 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 I am not completely satisfied that the coworker is completely out of the picture because Mr. Moore made a statement to me during the interview, and I'm going to say it and quote him, I'm down to two women. So that's a present mm. tense statement. And what I expected yeah. no. to hear was I'm down to one woman, my wife. No. So I need I, ink pen. Okay. Oh. I I'm said... Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Hold on, Ms. Moore. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Right. Mr. Moore. You're down to two women. No. And now the coworker is gone, so now I'm down to one is what I said. So here's my question. Do you believe he is cheating based on everything that you heard through your process? No, I don't believe he's cheating on her. Not since January 2018. Oh. Okay. <laughs> if you stay with him, I would say that you absolutely need some counseling to deal with all of the things that you're bringing to the table. Yes. And Mr. Moore, here's the unfortunate position that you're in. This woman, if you want to be with her, you've got to show her and show her and over show her and double show her and triple show her that you are oh. a changed man. 